Within the world of workshop and workspace lighting, there exists a ton of options. In my personal workshop, I run LED fluorescent style tube lighting. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys something that is called a high bay LED light and show you an application where you may be able to use a light such as this for some serious output. Hey everybody, my name is Sam and welcome back to SamCraft. That's right, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a high bay LED light, also sometimes called UFO lights for reasons that you will see. However, this is not going to take place within my small workshop. I only have 8 foot ceilings in my workshop and I obviously have ample lighting. So in this video I'm going to be traveling to my brother's farm. He raises cattle and he is in desperate need of some barn light upgrades. Alright guys, I am on location in a farm. I'm in cattle country. Here at my brother's farm. He's the one that's in need of these lights. The one I can hook up, show off these lights, but really juice them up in his barn here. This is a look at the light in the box. It is a fa favor we favor we I got no clue. It's that name brand. LED high bay lights. These are also called UFO lights because as you'll see, they look like UFOs. These particular lights are 150 watt equivalent, but they don't draw that much since they are LED. So, go ahead and plop this box down here on this brush mower behind the tractor, which is instrumental, as you guys will see. We'll open it up and let you guys take a look at what's all in this box. As always, handle with care. I want to be safe. Go ahead and open the box. Got some nice foam padding, a little cardboard collar tie. We have a safety cable. This is to run from the light to the rafter so things don't fall off on your head. And then we have the light itself. Go ahead and unwrap this. Check that out. Look at all those LEDs. Massive. This is a solid aluminum casing, I guess. It's got heat shrinks all over it. I imagine the thing will get a little bit toasty with all these LEDs, but aluminum and metal housing will do good to dissipate the heat. It comes pre-wired and pre-terminated with a US style plug, 110 volt with ground. We're not going to be using this. I'm going to hardwire these into his junction boxes in the ceiling. But for that, it's as easy as twisting apart this connector. I'm going to be clipping the wires, but this portion of the connector I will reuse because that will act as my pass-through thimble for the electrical box. So that's cool. This other little wire is for dimming. If you want to add the dimming option to these, you can hook them up to a separate switch and everything. We're not going to do that here. So it's just going to get tied up out of place and it'll be fine up there on the ceiling. In addition to the light, you've got a little instruction book here. And then you've got a little, I don't know, promotional thing. There you go. For a little bit of a size comparison, this is bigger than my head, so big light. I guess the total weight for this is probably around, I don't know, maybe 10 pounds. It has got a nice stout hook on the top of that. So that looks really good for installing it to make it nice secure connection. In his barn here, we're going to be putting some eye screws into the top beam and then hooking it on here and then bending that hook over to prevent this from falling over or becoming, I mean, a drop hazard I guess is what you call it. So there's a look at the light. What we're going to do next is um, not sketchy because I've already done one to make sure this whole works you know proof of concept but he's gonna pick me up in the bucket of his tractor and hold me up about 15 feet in the air so that I can reach and wire these up. Don't worry if you're squeamish of heights I'm not gonna take you all the way up to the top. It's basic wiring. You want to connect your hot, your neutral, and your ground and after that we'll get these juiced up and you guys will get to see the huge difference between what he had before, which are incandescent lights, and these 150 watt equivalent LED UFO high bay lights from Favor Wee. All right, I'm gonna take you guys in the barn here. It's pretty dark, obviously we're installing lights and the power will be selectively off, but we've got one of the lights plugged up there pointing up to the ceiling. That is where I'm headed. He's gonna lift me up in the bucket of his tractor I'm going to sit you guys down here on the tripod so you can enjoy the picture show from below. 
and just take in the awesomeness of some country light installations in a barn. brother's taking his tractor around the barn he's gonna bring it in this one and we're gonna do this bay next and then see if we can fit on this last bay he's got a lot of hay rolls up there sorry you guys can't probably see squat I don't know if we're gonna be able to reach this last bay because it is stacked full of hay but we'll try our best either way the one right here above me is next and that'll be three out of the four inside this main part of the barn they're really cool all right real quick I want to show you guys the difference between the two that we have installed and the two we have not. Right now we're just running off ambient light. It's about eight o'clock in the evening. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the switch here right behind you guys and uh, hold on to your lights or eyes. We'll gotta get closer over here and let you guys see the originals because they're definitely being dominated. Well, <laughs> one's burnt out, but the other incandescent versus UFO lights huge difference huge so that's with two lights we got two more to go I'm turn the power off for safety As you guys can see, it is a lot darker outside, but not darker inside. We got the lights put up here in the main barn and they look awesome. But let me get my brother over here who actually knows this barn better than me and let him share the amazingness of light. The amazingness of light. That's, that's a good way to put it because we have just taken this to the next level. We have got so much more light for so much more activities. And I think me and my brother will probably make some magic happen in this barn. We'll be able to see to work now if we have to work on something. Because 
if you've got a shop or a barn, you're always having to fix stuff, and sometimes you got to work at night. And this really is pretty amazing. It's nice because you can adjust like, if you don't have quite, if you've got a taller ceiling, if you kind of want to more pinpoint that light, I guess you can adjust these down. You can mm -hmm. you know, hang chain or something down. So they're very versatile. Yeah. Um, they're pretty lightweight. Yeah, they're not bad. And the cord that comes with them has a plug on the end. So if you want to run it off an outlet, uh, you've got po outlet at all these posts. So you could have, you know, run it up and hang it over. You can do that with these lights too. Pretty versatile. Um, it's definitely a style light where you need ceiling heights. So when the company reached out about these lights to me to check them out and show you guys, I was like, my workshop's small. I don't have much headroom. But your barn came to mind. And it I think it's a pretty good application. Great application for, for this. The lighting we had in here was, was just incandescent light bulbs. It was very subpar. Um, yeah. You would come out to the barn at night and there could be something in here with you. We have critters come through here every now, you know, we're on a farm. But now, the only thing that's coming in here other than us is bugs. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they're loving the light. I like it, it's a good bright light. It's a, uh, it's not a yellow light. Mm -mm. It's a It's a bright, more of a white light, I guess. I don't know the difference in the. Yeah, I think it's, it's probably daylight balance. So maybe around 6,500K. Uh, it's not a warm light, like you're saying, yeah. Yeah, I mean, compared to your other bulbs, I mean, that's like a night and day. <laughs> and it was pretty quick installation for mm -hmm. what we had. Yeah, I think total start to finish was an hour and a half. Um, most of that was moving the tractor around, picking me up in the bucket. We took a break for a minute, though, and, you know, the kids were around here and stuff. And then the last one, this last bay... The one I didn't film, we actually had to put a ladder up in, on the hay, and that was kind of, that took the longest. Correct. But overall, pretty easy. Um, if you guys are interested in these lights, I'll put a link to them down below. Um, all the details, if you got an application where you think this may work for you, from what our experience is so far, easy to install, really bright, and look good. All right, guys, take care. i see you guys next time in the workshop or, I don't know, in this barn.